Hello everyone, and welcome. Hope everyone is doing well. So it's been a while since I actually jump on the microphone and actually talk during our dailies because one, it was just boring. <laughs> Probably to hear me over and over again talking about just regular stuff, but yeah. Uh well this is going, we'll probably lose, but uh, yeah, I, I've actually been keeping track of all the latest Star Wars Gox of Heroes news and all that, and so I was on my other account, my first account, found that I'm still keeping up and all that, uh, and I ch was checking out the new uh, features and I was like, oh man, this is really good. How come I was not noticing about this earlier and all that? So, um, we just got the patch downloaded on this one. And so apparently Hux, as well as the Sith um, Troopers coming in, I have not seen videos of them at all. And there's the game, game update right there. So, um, also, in the store, there's... Uh, item that you can use to buy for $100 and it actually unlocks some pretty good stuff but I don't think you have to be starting the game fresh you actually have it them uh, uh, well yeah probably fresh will get the most bang for your buck for it uh, because let's see here uh, Started, arenas, there we go. League with new titles. Okay, and Grand Arena, yay. Oh, is now available in the fleet data card, fleet package of coin. Okay, good. We got that. 28th for that. For the launch of Hyperdrive Bundle, we want to thank you all for your embarked us on this journey. Please accept this gift of honor. You contribute in the game. Good luck. Portrait as well as another portrait. Cool. Um. Well. Um. Uh, here we go. This is the new thing, which is cool. The little neat updated UI right here. But then the um, the big thing is here. The journeys guide tool. Tata Grandma Yoda. This goes a little bit about his uh, specific strengths. Let's take a look at the activities. Please note that some events are only time on basis. You can see requirements. So I think this is really cool right here. Is that if you, um, with this, we can then choose to go to this event here or you know let's see here um, so it shows that we have three or five available and which ones we need to do but then what we could do is if you needed to we could actually go to the event and actually do it again without actually having to actually run wait for it to come up again which is amazing and so I think this is a really cool cool feature definitely definitely worth it um, really nice quests are now here and uh, uh, titles might as well just activate cuz why not achievements and then go but I think that's just a really cool feature. And then let's take a look at the hyperdrive bundle. All right. Um, so it unlocks mod battle. Basically, you're getting sort of like a boosted start for $100. And there you get the Phoenix Squad here. So you can actually automatically, well, you have to do a little bit of grinding, but um, at least you get a five star Thrawn after getting some gear for them right there. Um, Rebels, let's see here, um, you'll need them for First 
order. Um, there is the re resistance, so you could probably get um, Jedi training array after you grind, you know, to seven stars. Um, there's uh, so you can actually get BB-8 for five. Um, um, R2-D2, since there's some Empire people here, it looks like. Yep, there's there, the that. So, and yeah, so actually that's not too bad. I just think it's, if you're, if you're now like where we are right now, max level and all that, and thinking of buying it, I would say it's sort of a waste. You do get access to ships, which is nice, and some resources. All that, I think this is the main thing why you will want to buy it. It's just for the resources if you're left behind on things. But yeah. So it does actually not to play bad, but you know, $100 just to grind up what you're getting. And we've been doing it for almost coming up to a year with no, uh, nothing paid to it. So yeah, I would say we're, we're a little bit um, behind, I can't say behind because we're going at our own pace. We're not really caring what people are saying, but yeah, we're, we're going at a uh, pretty good pace, but not as fast as most people would do, but yeah, it is what it is. But what will be cool about this is that we won't have to wait for the Gemini Revan event, you know? Because all we have to do is jump on this activity once we hit seven stars. So we definitely will be able to we'll be able to definitely eat, ace this very quickly. So I am excited for that. And we would get some bonuses for stuff, which is amazing. I always like having bonuses for that. Yeah, but that that was that was really cool. Having that uh, new feature and where, and it will help a lot of people out because, um, yes, you can. There's YouTube and you can look at it, but sometimes you know if you don't have enough time to look up a YouTube on your phone and all that, it might be a little hassle. But it shows you exactly what you need and all that, and so you can just you know check on the fly, which is cool. Trying to speed up our dailies because um, we talked a little bit. I'm just clicking away. Yeah, why not? Eh. Mm, we don't have enough for that. So, let's see here. Hux is coming in 30. Oh, okay. So, we'll have to do it tomorrow and all that. So, cool. We'll have to see. I, and again, I haven't seen his kit or anything, so it'll be interesting. It's funny, though, that they have Hux as a <laughs> character. I would think that other people would have a little better time, but eh. It is what it is. I want to spend my crystals on that. Let's see here. Where are we on time wise? Okay, a minute. All right. I think we can. Let's do this. Let's join. Okay, we don't have anything. Let's see what kind of gear we can do for people. But I'm excited though with that new feature. You know, once we get that, we'll be definitely be able to get Gen Night Revan. Not quite sure if it'll be within the year mark, but we will see. I hope so. Oh, perfect. Oh. Oh. Okay. So you'll be able, oh, like you'll be able to get that. Nice. All right. It'll be easier to get gear. That's cool. Alright, so let's do this. Let's boost you up, Leia. There we go. Oh no. There we go. 
I'm not a fan of the everything being squished. I like the a little bit wider, but I guess that's just. Uh, we might not finish our dailies just due to time constraints. So once we level up her to 20, get her 20 piece of gear. Um, actually, we need to do some fleets battles. Oh, man. There's a fleet battle. No, there isn't a fleet battle. Oops. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure that one minute has already been up. But let's do this. Upgrade you, girl. Nice. And let's just for that. Okay. Now that we should have everything done. But that's cool though. I re I'm a big fan, big fan of these changes. Big fan of these changes. It will help a lot of people um, who are new, you know, go, oh, okay, so these are the legendaries I need to work for, and then it actually gives you a guide. It's helpful. So. All right, I'll, I'll do, I'll finish the energy later. Um, what I'll do is I'll grind Leia up as much as we can. So, you know, we can get, um, Commander Luke Skywalker as we go. Old Ben might, uh, you know, but we'll see. But that's where we are right now. So thanks everyone for coming out and watching.